she won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! When you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he won't live much longer. I'm sorry, Sylvie. I need you to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrod. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. Are you sure this is what Cotter would want? I know he would. We'd never let free folk suffer. You'll see. He's in so much pain. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. What are you doing with that knife? It's meant for you. You? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. Our friends are taking care of her. What? What do you mean, our friends? She wanted me to look after you. Leave me behind. Ah, to help Sylvie. Got her. Oh, oh, I can't bear it anymore. Oh, oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. You said you'd help him. I wish I could, but I'm afraid it's too late for that now. But you can still use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forrester proud. 
I know you'll do what's necessary. Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart, his beating heart, and his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. What? We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Gary. Can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. I'll do it. For the North Grove. I knew I could count on you, Garrett. Use a dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. <laughs> Good. Now grab his heart. Quickly. While his blood still pulses through it. Now bring it here. Squeeze the blood into the fire. While it's still warm. Dometri Ulrika Expraps Volgenes Fobule Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Your fighters are in place. Keep the White Hills calm, and as soon as they're all seated, give the signal to strike. Remember. No matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Gwyn! Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester. My apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asher. <laughs> I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asher. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. It would be a lie if I said otherwise. I appreciate your honesty. I'll need that from you if this is to work. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive. No hidden agenda. Just peace. Once and for all. I trust you, Gwyn. 
I know you've lost a lot, and... and I'm sorry, but things will get better. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asher. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. I promise. Nothing will happen. Thank you, Asher. I knew I could trust you. Sorry to intrude, my lord. But Lady Forrester is in need of your help. Of course. I should go. Thank you, Asher. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord, it's all that came to mind. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Ready the men. Consider it done, my lord. Alyssa, I'm sorry it's come to this, but at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then. Mother! Huh. Oh, oh, my baby. Oh, oh my baby. <laughs> Enough slobbering. You can have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. Asher! Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You, welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd see the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. You honor us, Lord Whitehill, with your presence. And with this union. Honor you? I didn't take you for an arse licker, Forrester. Father, don't bicker. Asher's showing you respect. Somehow, I doubt it. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye, and get us something to eat. I'm bloody starving. We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. It's just a chair. By all means, sit in it if it makes you feel important. What? What did you say? Something not very friendly, father. What are you up to, Forrester? You curtsy like your sister one moment, then act the blowhard the next. Do you even have any idea how thin the ice is here? Calm down, father. Ash has been amongst swords so long, he's forgotten how to behave. Teach him some manners, then. Rather odd that Talia's not here, isn't it? And your banner men look a little tense. What are you playing at, Forrester? Something's not right. I can feel it. Calm yourself, Lord Whitehill. There's no reason to get upset. Say what you want. I know what I see. See, that's the trouble with you, Foresters. 
No At least matter. Roderick had enough decency to carry a proper conversation. Maybe I should have kept him alive after all. Sit down, Forrester! Father, please. Perhaps we should have more wine. Not enough fucking wine! <laughs> So different, but you destroyed everything. Goodbye, Asha. Oh. <laughs> 